Well, hello. Happy Thursday. Um, I've got a meeting here in a little bit, but what is on the agenda today is we want to do that coffee table. So if you saw a couple nights ago, I shared, was it last night or a couple nights ago? I shared a table that we have had in our stash. Um, let me see if I can find it. I think I styled it in our old house, but it's been in our stash for this long. We've never really had it anywhere. Uh, when we emptied the storage unit, we brought it here and put it in that little nook thing that was supposed to be an office. It was just there just temporarily. But we are going to cut the legs down. Well, Deb is going to cut the legs down. Hold on, it's gonna cut me off. I'm gonna stain it. I think I'm just going to put a coat of poly on it. So, um, I'll find the picture here in a second when I'm done telling you this story. Sorry, I can't talk to my I switched out our rug in the dining room um, a couple of days ago. Yeah, remember, I dried my hair straight a few days ago. This is the straight. The other rug that I took out of the dining room is going to go in the guest room. So I'm going to put that up there today. So I'll share that with you. And also I recorded a new, well, I recorded my makeup routine per the request of several people asking lots of questions on what I use. Um, so I'm going to try to get that all posted today. I'll pull those links and show you what I use. So I'm going to do that too not shared the top couple of Amazon links that I was going to share a couple of days ago. So I'll probably do that today. I might even have a couple of things coming. So um, that is what I want is on the agenda. And I'm going to put a box up here if you guys have questions, comments, uh, anything about like the newsletter stuff that I just shared last night. If you have um, link questions, any questions, put them in the box and then I'll try to answer them. Deb's really sour. I am sour. Do you need do you need a little protein smoothie? I'll take that and the hog. <laughs> Come here, baby love. <laughs> You're joking me. <laughs> do you want berries and cream or vanilla? Mm, I think today is a vanilla day. Okay, vanilla. This is that Flav City uh, protein smoothie mix that we have. The vanilla tastes like vanilla cupcakes. It is so, so, so delicious. I think I'm going to have that too. And what I love about this is you put one scoop in the milk of your choice. I love using almond milk. And then you put it in a shaker. You do not have to use a blender. So I think I do still have a code. I will put it here. I also have to share something with you. Um, this has been a bestseller for months. And I haven't talked about it in a while. But... The cooling blanket that we have on our bed, I cannot tell you the love that I have for this thing. It does exactly that. It is cooling. We replaced our flat sheet with this. It's like this silky material. I've talked to so many of you who have this. You bought it the last time I shared. You love it so much. Um, someone even said they put one on the bottom and on the top. It's not only perfect for people who have hot flashes, but people who are hot sleepers. And this at 50% off with five extra percent off would make great gifts. I'm over the limit of ignoring. I, if you guys know, if you've been around here for a little bit, I do things over and over and over and over until I get so sick of it, I'm about ready to snap rather than just fixing it in the beginning. So see this on my closet door? See this? I literally have to slam it. So I'm standing up here on a little stool and this is what's going on. This needs to be pushed down in. outfit of the day I thought I would share every time I get halfway dressed up well this isn't dressed up you know what I mean if I don't have paint clothes on um, I would share an outfit of the day this is that 
um, waffle knit shirt that is a button down, has a little pocket here. It is so comfortable. I did size up for an oversized look, but it already is oversized. So if you want your, if you want to fit it a little bit more, grab your normal size. The jeans that I have multiple pairs of, they feel like you are wearing leggings. If you are ones who don't like jeans, you need these. I did size up in these and I'm glad that I did. So do that as well. Favorite time of year because you can wear sweatshirts and sweaters with sandals and it is perfectly um, excellent weather for that. I also have, um, I also got these on Amazon and I love them. They go with pretty much everything and they come in multiple colors. These are true to size. The cutest crossbody, it has this like leather looking stuff here. Um, it's got the cream, it's got this really pretty uh, strap. So much more room to be adjusted. So if you don't like, like bags that feel like they're clear up to here, this is an excellent one. You have no idea how much I cannot believe that that closet door was a three, a three second fix. I took a hammer and went clink, clink, that's it. It probably wasn't even three seconds. Agenda for today is to get this made into a coffee table. First, I'm going to adjust the drawer. The drawer does not come out of here uh, smoothly at all. So I'm gonna take this out and make some adjustments on that. Put the handles back on. And then hopefully by then, Danelle will be out to help me flip it over so we can take the legs off and cut those down and put them back on. The drawer out, um, I took the screws out and this is what they had used to put the screws in for the handles. This is a concrete screw. So it wouldn't, it should work in theory, but wrong type of screw. So it's mistake number one. Number two, the reason why this isn't working is because these little fasteners like this go in here. So these boards can't move and there's none that are in here. So when you push it, these boards all come apart and go separate like this, and it makes the drawer slide wrong in there. So we have to fasten all these boards front of the drawer. And you can see there's a big gap here. And then down here, there is not. So I need to loosen every one of these boards up and move them all forward, tack them back in, put a fastener to keep them together, and then we'll put it in and see if it rides smoother in there. If not, we might have to sand a little bit or wax the side. Okay, this is an oldie. Look at this. We got this at a garage sale. I don't, okay. Don't nobody tell us that we can't cut this down and have like, like bad feelings because it's either going to be sold or we use it. So we're going to use. figure out where we are going to cut it. So I talked a little bit about this last or a couple nights ago. The ideal height for our room and our couch would be right here from the top to about here. But that's going to, I don't think that's going to look right. I think there needs to be more of a taper. Do you? So we're trying to figure out if we should I'm wondering if you should cut like this off and then, oh wait, but it has that, it has that thing on it. I see. So now what? I'm going to look dumb without having like a taper. Do you know what I mean? 
and you're right, if you would attach with screws, not only are you gonna see it, and I mean, you could use those little trim screws, but I don't know if it would be sturdy enough, you know? So they'll either leave it the way it is or find something different. So cut it here. This is too much. This is just a big decision. We don't have to do it. <laughs> no, we do. I'm looking at it upside down. So that's what it's gonna look like. Like that. That might not look bad. Does that look like in the same spot? Yep. Or should it be just a tad bit shorter? Maybe a tad shorter. And for some reason, it doesn't look straight to me. Oops. Down this way, I think. But right there. If you think. Back your way or my way? See, I think it needs to go. Is that right? said we had this thing in storage so it has lots of marks on the top I'm going to sand it really quick and then I'll probably put a coat of poly on the entire thing um, including the legs put the legs back on and then do that I have not even shown you this because it's the first I've walked through here but remember this this is the path by the swing and Deb filled it with stone the other day. It is so nice. And I have to show you something else really cool out here. We went to Springfield and we met the little old man who makes these copper wind, I don't know, wind chimes. I don't know what they're called, wind mobiles wind catcher maybe deb put it here which i love this is exactly where we wanted to put it when we saw it and i think it'll look really pretty once we plant flowers in it next spring on to the last of the tomatoes they're looking like that so i have tons of strawberries i already picked them and took them in but look tons this was like the best ever. We bought six plants for a school fundraiser in the spring and ended up with all of these. And they are still producing strawberries. <laughs>